Mauri Moyo, Nairobi. Moving on from that, the government has committed to turn around the fortunes of tea farmers in the country. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa made this assurance when he opened a two-day tea conference in Kericho. Now, Gashagwa said that the current administration will fully implement the Tea Act, which is yet to take effect. During the event, farmers trained their guns on the Kenya Tea Development Agency, blaming it for their woes. Ken Gashuhi tells us more. Tea farmers may soon rip big from their sweat if the commitment made by the government on tea reforms is anything to go by. Deputy President Rigard Gachagua has said that full implementation of the Tea Act of 2020 will go a long way in boosting farmers' earnings. That the reforms we are going to agree on, our two houses of parliament where we have the majority, the Senate and the National Assembly will make the various amendments into law. Thereafter, the president and I and the ministers responsible will ensure a hundred percent compliance. Gashago spoke in Kericho when he officially opened the inaugural tea conference. During the event, farmers took KTDA officials to task over delayed payments. We will ensure if it follows like the way you have put it, then we'll work backwards yes. so that by faith we yes. pay the farmers. I think, CEO, the yes. way you need to frame it yes. is on yes. or before fifth. The farmers accused the agency of taking over the roles of smallholder tea factories, thereby affecting their service delivery. The mandate has been taken away by KTDA management services. And that is the problem because the work of making sure that procurement is done is the work of the board. Yes. The work of making sure that tea is collected in time is the work of the board. Mm. But if you now deliver it, take it to MS, mm -hmm. they have beaten more than they can chew. You will find a driver is the one who stops there, anatoa hiyo kilo, anapimia mukulima, mukulima unajua kisha pima chai yake, anaenda kutengenezea watoto chakula. Anamuacha akilod 200 bags of tea alone. Really? KTDA CEO Wilson Mudaura also faced a hard time explaining the continued loss making by its subsidiary companies and unclear disbursement of dividends. So out of the eight, how many subsidiaries are profit making? How many are loss making? Uh, I, uh, okay. I said there are two, but I gave reasons. I told you the intro, the reason is that all the hydro projects stalled. But right now they have come on back. We have one which is coming up in uh, Kisi. It's has already started generating income. So when all of them become operational, I can assure these farmers, those dividends will be very huge for them in terms of savings. These dividends you claim to have declared from all these subsidiaries, how do you ensure that the dividend adds up with the farmer? A section of the leaders called for establishment of more tea actions in the country. The auctioning system as we have it today is overshadowed by a lot of opaqueness. We need to bring transparency into it. We need even to open up that the auction is not basically done in Mombasa all alone, but we open up other sub subsectors, sub sub um, markets where it can be done so that we'll create a kind of a, a mechanism that will allow for competition. Ken Gashohi, KTN News, Kericho County. Time for our first break. When we come back,